new videos every day. Okay, welcome. My name is Kurt and I'm here with Star and we have a freshly curled head of hair using the flat iron and now we want to talk a little bit about finishing. There are a couple of things I want to get. One is a little bit of height in the crown. That's something that Star likes and also a little bit of shine and a little bit to uh, take away some of the fuzziness with the serum through the ends. So first of all, to get the height and the crown, we're going to turn back. This is step one. I have a tail comb here and this Tail comb has three rows of teeth. This is ideal for sectioning. I can section right across the crown. And as I section across, the important thing is, is to not rat this countless times. It's really one time. I've actually cut some staggered lengths through this length earlier today with a particular uh, thinning technique carving out through the top so it's very easy to grab some of that hair just pushing down once on each side that's it then the hair stays soft and flowing but that gives that little Brigitte Bardot kind of effect so right here in the crown once again one time pushing down completely on both sides maybe a second time and that's it that way the hair stays really soft and flowing and it doesn't have that cotton candy kind of quality. So finally one more time, maybe just one through here and that will start to give us the fullness that we need in the crown. So I hope you like that and uh, that's the comb that is used to achieve that. And then finally we want to start to create some finish. So using a serum of your choice Then I'll start to warm that into the hands. And really, you don't want to drag your fingers through there and create a greasy effect. What you want to do is start to almost like shoe shine it into the lengths, into the mid lengths and ends. So it starts to give the hair a drink where it's a little bit, say, thirstier, which would be more like the mid lengths and ends. So a lighter, a lighter kind of approach with the flat of the hands like this. And then once some of the product has been worked through, you can start to work that through a little bit more deeply. Start to press that in. You can start to see the fuzziness disappearing. Some shine starting to ensue. And I'll start to press that in like that. Okay, and then we'll just turn it toward the camera. So then you may decide you want to tuck a little bit through one side, maybe finish a little bit this way. And step in across. Sometimes a little bit of a tuck and then once you have a little less product on your hands, you can grab a few random pieces and finish them a little bit more so. So if you like the curl that you're seeing, this natural type of curl was created with a flat iron in an earlier video. You can find that. And that little bit of fullness in the crown as we turn to the profile, you can see it's just a little higher and fuller. Through the crown starts to create a little bit more of a, a playfulness through the layers. And this fantastic dress, you can find a dog and pony in Austin, Texas. Might have to check out dogandpony.com if you're looking at that amazing back there. All right, thank you very much, and I hope that you like this look. So if you do, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, see me on kurtdarling.com, and I'll look forward to sharing more styling tips with you soon.